It's a video walkthrough of the Kosar Capri. It's uh, just had a cancelled sale on it, so we're just going to have a look around and update the video from um, the one we did before. It's a uh, 35 by 12 three bed from 2001, and it's priced at 5695. It's quite tidy throughout, really. There's a few delaminated doors, uh, but for the the age of the caravan and the value of the caravan, um, it's in pretty good condition, really. It's a spacious 12 foot van with three bedrooms. Single glaze, um, but obviously with the price it's going to be. Um, it has been gas tested for this uh, previous sale, but probably have to do it again once it's sold. Um, but we have tested it, and it should uh, all be working as it is um, as we find it. We've got a nice green uh, gas fire there on my right hand side. We've got two exterior doors one that comes into the living room area where we find ourselves here, and one comes in down the bottom uh, in the hallway. You can see the upholstery. I don't know if these um, bottoms are original, I'm assuming they're just covers. Um, but either way the covers on them are look look fine nothing wrong with them there's no rips or bad stains in them the backs whilst they're getting a bit tired in places the backs do appear to be okay as well that all matches to the dining area for the backs at least the bottoms probably look the same if you took the covers off but as it is um, they look okay as well so you've got that freestanding dining table there with a stool but you've got the fitted dining seating so there's lots of seating in here. Opposite the dining seating then we've got the kitchen. So kitchen sort of, it is a big open plan caravan but um, because of that partition wall there on the left hand side, it does mean that it's blocked off a little bit from the living room area which sometimes can be a bit nicer. We've got cupboard doors above and around. And your gas oven there on the right hand side. Space on the left hand side for an under counter fridge. You could take the worktop out if you wanted to, as I often say, for a bigger fridge freezer. There is some delamination to the doors, as you can see. And these ones, they've gone a bit, probably a bit too much to be edged, but for the age of the caravan, yeah, look, it's coming right off. The age of the caravan, it's not the sort of thing we would do for this type of one. We would just leave them as they are. If someone wanted to strip them all off and start again, then obviously you can do. Um, so just turning around then showing you that dining area opposite the kitchen and then if I'm stood at the kitchen sink here as you can see that wall does block me off from the living room so it just gives you that little bit of separation from when you're cooking. Stepping through then we've got a door separating off our bedroom quarters from our living area. I'm going to go to the back of the caravan and to the left hand door here. Oh, it catches. Okay, hang on. Sorry, catch was very stuck there on the plastic. That was a struggle. Um, main bedroom here at the back. We've got um, good enough space actually around the bed for a three bed. Um, not too bad in here. Got double bed, probably a four foot three or a four foot six. Um, possibly four foot three. Doesn't look as big as a four foot six, but if that's important, we can measure it for you. Got a good sized cupboard doors over the top and bedside shelves. And as I say, turning around, um, you know there is decent space around here, as you can see. Sometimes it can be really cramped walking down the side of a three bed, but it's not too bad in here. Then we've got a single wardrobe there, nearly floor to ceiling. And then we've got drawer units and a little mirror desk on the side. Window there on the off side of the caravan. Coming out of there and turning immediately to our left, you find one of the twin rooms. Everything's exactly the same, but a smaller size. You've got two single beds, cupboards over the top of the beds, and then a f almost floor to ceiling wardrobe cupboard window there on the door side all fairly tidy it's stepping into our other twin room same thing again slightly bigger bedroom i think but same style cupboard doors over the bed and wardrobe unit but then in this one you have got this shelving unit here and a little uh, mirror there so a bigger bedroom than the other twin just to go back to our main bedroom if i can get this door open <laughs> um just to highlight the um, offside wall there around the window there's been a repair it's a very tidy repair to be honest you've got a dado rail and then the bottom boards are sort of creamy color and might be painted there um, it's quite a tidy repair there's a bit of a stain on the window there I imagine at some point you've just had a little bit of leakage from uh, from around the window which is stained the wall board and they've just tidied it up so um, nothing wrong at all with it just pointed out really it's just a cosmetic thing Stepping out of there, again, uh, second exterior door on our left, we've got um, cupboard for our water heater and then cupboard for our just storage there, which is handy. Not something you get in a lot of caravans these days. And then walking back up the hallway and turning to our left, we've got our bathroom. 
needs a bit of a clean up there. But we've got sink, toilet, and shower. So it's all taped up because it was sold. So the door is about, um, it's not a bad size door. It's probably wider than shoulder width. Um, swings open, pivoting on the side there. But then when you get in there, it is a bigger shower than the door suggests. As you can see. So whilst the door is that size, the shower itself goes back to the right-hand side there where the wall is. So it's a decent sized shower, really. That's our bathroom, bedrooms and living space. Let's hop outside and take a look at the outside. Bright sunny day here when we're looking around the caravan. Show you the outside of it. Check out all the panels. Tell you about anything serious. Front looked all right. Found this offside here. We're looking okay as well. No sort of serious damage, as I say. Second-hand caravan that's about 20 years old. It's going to have a few um, little bumps and numps here and there. Bumps and numps? I don't know what that is. But a few uh, little dents around the place, but actually it's pretty clean and tidy. Got a little bit of damage here at the back, where your uh, gas or water, gas pipe, water pipe, whatever it is, is there. Um, says gas connection, but... Yeah, it must be gas. Um, got a little bit of a scrape there on the back, and then you've got a bit of a scrape here on the panel. Uh, a bit of decking paint around the door. But for a 20-year-old caravan, this is all uh, small stuff. The panels themselves, in terms of damage and everything, you've got a vent fitted there. Um, might have had a bit of damage there at the top, but got a vent over it anyway, if that's what's happened, so it's not a problem. Um, but it's all clean and tidy. No significant damage anywhere on the caravan to really report. Um, let's have a quick look at the chassis. Standard painted chassis. Does have some surface rust, but especially given the age, it looks solid. So not really anything to worry about there. So that's been our Cosalt Capri, 35 by 12, three bed, 2001, priced at 5695.